Hello everyone. Well, our venue today is a true football monument. I'm talking, of course, about the San Siro. My name is Derek Ray, and I'm joined for commentary by the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson. And it's the Champions League round of 16 second leg. It's Milan, and they face Trabzonspor. Well, Derek, the first leg was a good game and fairly even overall. But an early goal here, and these fans will expect to go on and win this tie. It should be compelling stuff today. This is the Milan starting 11. Teo Hernandez starts with Davide Calabria in the fullback positions and leading the line today, Olivier Giroud. This is the lineup for the visitors today. Well, they're playing with a midfield diamond, so key to their success will be the holding midfielder and the player in the number 10 position. They really need to influence the game here today. And now this Champions League round of 16 second leg is underway. Rade Krunic, and he's in. Oh, he did superbly well to get back there and thwart him. And now, passing it through. It's got to be, and a goal! And I'll tell you what, that gives them a bit of a cushion now. Well, here's the replay, and just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. And while the finish might not be the cleanest of strikes, it's still good enough to beat the keeper. What a lovely goal that is. Goals galore on aggregate. 4-2 is the lead. Take another look at this. From the attacking point of view, everything is right. The shot across the goalkeeper making it difficult for him. Players coming in for the rebound. It's an excellent goal. And the keeper could do nothing about it. And both sides committed to wonderful attacking football. And the aggregate score, 4-3 here. Tonali with it. Ficayo Tomori. Teo Hernandez now. Good looking sequence. And credit is due for that good piece of defending.
and given away. A chance maybe from the wide position. Oh, that's a really good run. Giroud now able to close down the shot. Wonderful challenge and a throw in coming up. Might be able to get in behind the defence. And it crossed the touchline, so a throw in here. And he did what he had to do defensively. Well, no degree of difficulty for the... goalkeeper Rafael Leao it's with Giroud given away by Milan it's a promising Milan move well tremendous block Well, the outcome is a free kick here. Well, he's admonished him rather than cautioning him. Well, spot on from the referee. He's made it clear. Another foul and he will get a yellow card. Well, the free kick taken, but saved easily by the keeper. Not looking confident in possession. Might really be able to trouble them here. And a harmless cross gobbled up. Well, not giving the opposition a look in. That's strong play. But he could run onto it here. Could be. That is a long way off target, Stuart. Well, he looked in control, but in the end, the shot was wayward. That's a poor finish. Anastasios Bacasetas. Now, let's see what they can do here. Vishcha. Giving it a try. Very much a run of the mill as saves go. Teammates available. Well, the stoppage time situation. One minute here. Well, the first 45 minutes have come and gone here at the San Siro. So the Champions League, round of 16, second leg. The second half is underway. And a poor ball. Well, but tackling like that, the onus is on the referee to take action, potentially. Well, he's gone into the book. Well, he was late, and he deserved a booking for that. Oh, dear. Well, that's not one that's going to linger long in the memory. Well, he had a go there. Nothing wrong with that. But he's got that all wrong.
Teo Hernandez. On the ball, Rafael Leao. And he's in. Majestic piece of goalkeeping. Well, he loves the big moments, doesn't he? And he's proved it again there. Great goalkeeping. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Short corner. Inside he goes. Can he find the net? And the keeper more than equal to it. Well, as it stands, they're on their way out. But a goal here would change everything. Well, this is a big moment, and don't these fans know it? Who's going to get on the end of it? Well, perhaps not a high percentage chance for him. Well, although he was always going to be second to the ball, the defender just about did enough to stop him getting a clean header there. Vermeer couldn't keep it. Trying to really get at the opposition here. Giroud. Leal. Firing it in. Well, simple for the keeper. And they do like to press whenever they can. Well, he's got plenty of space on the flank here. Well, plenty of power, but just too much height on it. And time for the change now. How could he take them on and beat them? Vizca! And a goal! And I'll tell you what, that gives them a bit of a cushion now. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. of attacking football 5-3 on aggregate Giroud Giroud no degree of difficulty at all for the keeper 20 minutes to go in this one clear foul play and as a result a free kick forthcoming and appeared to be on the cusp of being booked, but got away with that one. No way through. Far from a good pass. Vanessa. Giroud. It's with Edin Vizca. Vizca intercepting it intelligently well, can they be creative from here and there the attack ends for now Brahim counter-attacking very much an option chances on the crossbar got in the way and foul it is then well now he's walking on eggshells you might say next time it'll be yellow
The cross towards Olivier Giroud, who's waiting at the back post. Calabria. Oh, a nearly moments, but not quite good enough. Well, you certainly can't fault them for effort. They keep applying the pressure, and if they can just nick one, they're right back in this. And he's won the ball. Plenty of support here. He's in behind. Oh, dear, oh, dear. The goal was at his mercy. Tame effort. That's a very fine piece of tackling. And it goes! They're making this interesting, but do they have enough time? Well, let's see this again. He tries to run out with the ball. He has the ball taken off of him. He's made the wrong decision, and suddenly the ball's in the back of the net. Terrible defending. What a tie this has turned out to be. 5-4, the aggregate score. There's the final whistle, and the visitors move on. Well, it was all very tight, but over the two legs, they just had that bit more creativity and made the better chances. They'll certainly be confident going into the next round. And now, 